This lesson is an introduction to coding using Scratch, so we'll get straight into it. If you type Scratch into your Google search box, and it's usually about the first thing that comes up. So here we have it, scratch.mit.edu. So we click on that, and it brings you to this window, and now we click on Create to get started straight away. Now, this brings up uh, the, the Scratch interface here, and what, what you see is, um, this is basically the display of what your game will look like here on the right. Um, so you're, what you're going to do is you're going to write, a, you're going to learn basic coding um, by, by writing a simple game. And this is your character for your game at the moment. He's called a sprite, uh, S-P-R-I-T-E. And on the left here are the commands you can use to control him, to control your character and control your game. And um, in the middle is where you do the work. So we're going to start right in here. And uh, so the first thing we could do, for example, is make a move 10 steps. So I'll drag this out. And uh, you, can, you can just click on it and watch him move. So every time you click, he moves 10 steps. Now, this is all of these commands are to do with motion or making him move. What you can also do is make that more automatic. Um, this green flag starts the game. So what you can do is go to events and when green flag is clicked, you can so you can drag this out. Uh, so what that makes it more automatic, which means whenever the green flag is clicked, it does whatever the command says afterwards. So that's events. So as you can see, motion and events are separate uh, types of commands. Events have to do with controlling different events in your game. The motion is uh, making your characters move. Uh, and there's all other s categories as well, as you can see over here. Now, so what happens now is uh, if you click on the green flag, he should just move 10 steps. And every time you do that, he moves 10 steps forward. OK, so um, let's look at some more of these commands uh, that have to do with motion. Uh, for example, you can make your character turn a given amount of, of, of degrees. So for example, turn 15 degrees. Let's click again. Uh, let's keep doing that. So it keeps turning. It rotates by 15 each time and back to where you started. Okay, other stuff you can do here. Um, you can, um, if you know exactly, if you want to pinpoint a position on the screen that you want them to go to, you can use this go to command here. And the numbers here are called coordinates. And that means you can pinpoint exactly where on the screen to go. So for example, and you can, you can, Move these around that Lego blocks. Take these out for a minute and just let's go back to just using this command on its own. So, for example, go to zero, zero and see where that brings us. So, I'll click the green flag. And that you notice that brings you, brings you to the center of the screen. Uh, so, that's zero, zero stands for the midpoint, the middle um, part of the screen. Now, let's try some different um, positions on the screen. Uh, let's type in, for example, 50 and see where, that, see where that brings us. So 50, 0 means 50 along here and 0. So 50 horizontally and 0 steps vertically. So let's see where that brings us. So that brings us to here. Let's do another 50. Uh, sorry, yeah. Oh, of course, that just stays at 50 then. Um, and you can move a further 10 steps if you like after that or another 50 steps or whatever. So let's say you move another, another 50 steps. So type 50 in there, and uh, let's go again. And uh, you can see there it moves them on 50 steps. Okay, so let's uh, let's go back again and uh, find out. Um, so I'll just get rid of this here. Let's go back to the start again. So zero zero. OK, so we'll, we'll bring it back to the middle again. Um, if you want to go to go to the left, obviously, there you put in a minus value. So if 0, 0 is the center, anything, if the x value is a minus, it goes x means horizontal, y means vertical. So x means go, go back, we we'll say, 20 steps. So when you go to minus 20, 0, it should bring them back 20 steps. OK. Um, what, else we can, what else can we do here? We can. Uh, bring in more commands, bring up some of these. Now that we know what X and Y do, bring up X and bring Y up as well. So I'll get rid of these. 
you can just get these out um just get out of the way here as well just drag them in there so um just take that out for a minute So change, when, when the flag is clicked, change X by 10. I will try that first. So what this does is it moves him on 10 horizontally each time you click. Moves it on 10. And we might throw in Y as well, which means move him vertically 10. So now it goes across 10 and up 10 each time. So he's going to cross and up each time, um, 10 horizontally and 10 vertically. So these are all the type of, of commands you can do here and um, there's there's more as you go down you see all the, the various options you have under motion. And um, one last thing we can do in this lesson, this, this is just the first lesson as an introduction, um, just show you a few things you can do with your character. If you want to change the character completely, uh, what you can do is you can um, get rid of him, just click on X. And any of the code associated with them, you notice, is gone as well. So uh, you can now try a new character. So I'll try here. And um, so if you need a new, a new character for your game, maybe you're making some kind of a ball game, for example, pick the basketball here. And uh, that's that's your new character now as such. Now, you might want that smaller or bigger. So you go to size here, maybe make it 50 or so on. Just experiment with different numbers. The best thing to do is trial and error. Try things out yourself and see what happens. Try changing things. You can break it, so don't be afraid to try different things. So now maybe maybe it's too small or whatever, or maybe up to 70 or something like that. And there you have it. And all the same commands will work again with the basketball. Now the background here as well you can change. You can bring in your own background, you can create your own and import it in, we'll show you that later. Or for now, you can just go to some of the, the, those that are already provided. So go to the stage here um, and um, click on the stage. And for example, there's a basketball court. So you've all these to choose from. So now I can maybe invent my own basketball game. So maybe if that's the right size, it should be. That's about the right size for that game. Um, and now you, you can see how you might, um, you know, start off, for example, creating your first simple basketball game. And that's the end of the first lesson.